Frankie goes to Hollywood. Hey, yo, Frankie. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. Everybody on these YouTube channels lying. Everybody lying. Everybody this big time trending topic. Everybody these hardcore gangsters. Everybody gonna do this to each other when they see each other. And truth be told, we too blessed and we be having too many views in this YouTube shit to be going to war with each other. And truth be told, don't nobody want to fight nobody on this YouTube shit. Because 98% of these YouTubers is cowards. Mmm, now that's Huggy Pacino certified. certified. What's going on, y'all? It's Huggy Pacino, back with a quick video. Um, we are in Winchester Hickory Hill. I've told this story, uh, but for those who have never heard the story, let me tell you the story. Uh, this is an Exxon, but it's, you know, I guess it's one of these uh, franchise versions of them called the Express Mart. And, uh, and ad run it, or whatever. You know how it go. So what happens is, uh, I was working here at this Exxon. A uh, long time ago when it was just an Exxon. If you look right here, these are the gas pumps. It used to be uh, more than those. It used to be uh, a total of 16, I believe. I remember them being 16 because it was four four of them. And uh, so it used to be a lot huge, you know, bigger rather. Uh, but this is where I, uh, what happens is these parking spots... Um, I was parked next to the door uh, where that uh, this Camry is right here. I was parked right there in that parking spot. Every single car was parked right here. Uh, so put you in the mind of what I'm trying to explain here. Is let's just say the car that just pulled up. Let's just say I'm the car that just pulled up, that black truck. I was the black truck and the white, uh, the Camry was right there. Uh, is where I was parked. No, I'm sorry. Where I was parked would be the black truck, the car next to me will be pulling out the same time I pulled out when the situation happened over here. Now, back in the day, this used to be Little Miss Winters, right? If you look how far the distance is from there to over here, you can clearly see what I'm about to explain. Now, uh, this was a, a cold night. It was a, a teen night. They had like teen uh, the cars ride too damn fast. We used to have, they used to have teen night at the club down the street. I can't remember what the club used to be called, but it's right down the block. They were leaving the club. And, you know, people used to come out here on a late Friday night, early Saturday morning. And we used to call it parking lot pimping or just crowding the parking lot, acting a fool or whatever the case may be. They'd be after playing music, you know, acting up, you know, doing whatever. But it, it wasn't no violent activity going on or whatnot. Now, this is what happened. I'm going to put you in the mind of the, car, the parking lot is crowded. It's hard for me to get out the parking lot or whatever the case may be. So this is what the person, we're gonna travel and I'm gonna give you an actual play-by-play -play of what actually happened. Right here is where the car comes into the parking lot, right there. They come into the parking lot right there. The individual was at this gas pump right here. And there was two cars, right? There was a car parked right there. There was a car parked right here. And it was a little further out. So I want to say the gas pump was probably where I'm parked at right now. Because the gas pump was a little bit out. Because we used to have less space or whatever case may be. So the person was parked right there. The individual went all the way down this way. He came through the parking lot. And what happened was he went through the parking lot and went around. He got out. He went out that way going out the parking lot that way and then went around to the front and ended up over there. When he ended up over there, I want to say far back as to where the window was is when he fired the one shot. And he fired one shot and hit the man, the, the, hit the young man that was in his chest way over there parked at the gas pump. He hit him dead in the chest from that far distance. One shot, one kill. The individual was arguing with some young kid at the club. I want to say I think they went to school together or they rival schools. I think one of the kids that died went to Kirby. The other one went to like, I don't know. I forgot what other school he went to. But he gets shot. He's dead. And um, it was just how it happened was just so strange because when the shot fired, I was pulling out the parking I was pulling out the parking space back there 
and the car next to me was pulling out as well. And for some strange reason, we were avoiding each other, trying to avoid getting hit. And typically being that the shots came from over here, I'm next to him and he's on the left side of me. So if I'm going in reverse, I'm trying to stay within his, you know, protection so I don't get hit. And eventually what happened is, uh, you know, we all got out the parking lot. It was poor pandemonium. I want to say somebody hit a car trying to get out the parking lot. It was, it was pandemonium that, that, that night. And I was just getting out of work. I had uh, a girl I was dating at the time. We lived, I was, she was living with me. And uh, when it happened, it just happened so fast. It was just crazy. Um, and then I found out later on that boy died and it fucked me up. Cause it's like, I remember going in reverse and the guy was trying to go off the other way. So what I ended up doing is just going reverse. I ended up going reverse out the parking lot down that way. But I ended up doing it all in reverse, like on some old puffy hypnotized shit. So uh, I remember going in reverse and I remember looking to my left as I was going in reverse, I saw the boy holding his chest and you could see the, cause he had like a jacket on and he had a white t-shirt on. You could clearly see blood was just coming down from his upper, like by his collarbone. Like he probably got hit like right there. The blood was just dripping all the way down his shirt. And he was, uh, he was like slumping over, but he was trying to walk and he couldn't walk. And next thing you know, I remember going in reverse out the, out. This is how I did it. I went in reverse and, um, I'm trying to give you the possible vivid, vivid memory I can give you without, uh, doing any editing. So this is me. I'm going to show you exactly what I did. I'm like, boom, right there. And I, I go on reverse. You know what I'm saying? Let me get my phone. I go on reverse. I'm looking to my left, and he was right here, bleeding, trying to go the opposite direction of where my car was. And I went off in reverse. And um, as I was going to reverse outside the parking lot right here, as I pulled all the way out, and I would, you know how you would make a, a reverse you know, right, reverse left, or right rather. It would be my left, you know, verse left, then go that way down Hickory Hill, because this is Hickory Hill right here, that's Winchester over there. As I was making the reverse, I remember going in this turning lane right here, I parked, I reversed so far back that I was in that turning lane right there. And I remember as I was in the turning lane, I saw the boy drop, and then I saw three people run toward him, and it was like, 50 people was in the parking lot, but I remember seeing just those three boys that crowded around him as he dropped. And I was in reverse and I just came to a stop. And I remember going that direction. That's the car that you just seen past me. I remember going that direction, went down Hickory Hill. And I, I went the opposite way because at that time I was living in the Bentry in White Haven. So you go down Winchester, you get to the Bentry. And that's the story of an Exxon shooting at Winchester and Hickory Hill. What year would this be? 2006? I'm going to see if I can find the story. I probably can't find that story, but I can try to look for an Exxon shooting 2006. Uh, yeah. It's crazy out here in these streets, man. Nobody's untouchable. Lucky Pacino for Lucky Pacino fan. I'm out. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to receive all notifications from Huggy Pacino. In the description box, you can find all 10 channels. HP Media 1 and 2 are the two new channels. You can also subscribe to my dog Julio and Huggy Pacino 1 through 6. And there's also a Huggy Pacino Effect throwback channel. And you can also contact me via email and phone. And if you would love to donate to the channel, here's where you could donate. Cash App and PayPal. The link's on the screen. Donations. 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 Gifts. Gifts. Hmm. Now that's Lucky Pacino certified.